What up? Hey, Tyler here. I'm gonna hit you with a little bit of quick knowledge. Social media is quickly becoming important. At first it was fun, it was something people did just to enjoy themselves or escape or to see what people they like were doing, but now it's become so integrated in pretty much every aspect of our lives and our careers. Uh, it's where we store things, it's where we uh, organize things, it's where we share things. It's pretty much where a ton of our life um, is going. And I'm not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing, it's just kind of a thing that's happening, just like computers. 30 years ago, computers were just this new fad that was really expensive, took up a lot of room, and now we use it to pretty much do most of the stuff that we do for work uh, in a lot of places and a lot of taking, taking a lot of spots that people usually would have had to do, we could just type in a program and that takes care of it. So social media has become important. Um, businesses are paying attention. People are paying attention. People find jobs all the time based off of their profile on whatever this or that. Okay, so I was gonna kinda hit you with a few of the major ones and where they can come in handy and when to use them, okay? Facebook, um, this is a good one for um, staying connected with the people you know in real life. It's a good one to uh, share with people or show like you wanna sell something. Um, online yard sales are popping up all over the place. You can pop some on there. I need somebody local to do this. I need to sell this. Does anybody want to buy this? There's a lot of local stuff is really good for Facebook. Um, now you've got profiles and you've got pages. Profiles when you're a person, pages when you're a group, organization, or celebrity, or entertainer, or anything of that sort. Um, your profile can be converted into a page if you notice that. Profiles are more for interacting with other people. Pages are more for giving um, information to people that would be interested in what you have. Okay, so that's the difference there. With Twitter, Twitter is more of just a running stream. It's not like post it here and people are gonna come and check it. It's more like, I'm gonna throw this out there and hopefully people see it before it flows out of their timeline. And so if you wanna get Twitter, it's more for just blasting people like, hey, check this out. Or, hey, we like this person. Or hey, retweet this. You know, it's just something to kinda give your personality and all the things you like and kinda throw them in one location. Okay, like if you're like, oh, I check out this person. They like to make jokes and then they like to watch these kinds of videos and they like to retweet this. And you know, it's just a good way to kind of stay on streams of stuff that you like, groups, organizations, people, shows, whatever it is you like. Um, so for businesses, that's a good place to throw out stuff. You don't want to look like you're just like, hey everybody, look at me, buy my stuff. But you do want to um, stay active on there and engage with your customers. That's where you're gonna get them, engage with your customers. Um, LinkedIn, I'm looking at, I've just got a list of social media stuff. LinkedIn, this is like the, I think I'm, it used to be third. I think it's now the fourth um, most popular social media network um, as far as users go. LinkedIn's more for business stuff. It's for connecting with people, networking, making connections, showing people, hey, I can do this, hire me, or I would like to do this, keep me open for your jobs. A lot of businesses use it. Um, I know some people that got jobs, some cool jobs at Apple, just by kind of stalking somebody who was important at Apple's, um, not super important, but pretty important, like middle level important, stalking their profile. And that got them a job. They hit them up, looked them up, looked them up, and hit them up and said, hey, I'm great at this. Can I work for you? And it worked. Okay, LinkedIn's great for businesses. Hey, little fly, don't bother me. Pinterest, it's good for organizing things um, in categories of what you like. Um, if you're, you know, wanting to redesign your office, you can toss a bunch of ideas and look at it later. Um, if you're in education, it's great for like organizing for like manipulatives or math ideas or science projects, anything like that. It's getting very wide range of stuff and you can just type in a general thing or specific and narrow it down and just toss stuff you like. It's a good way to organize ideas um, and stuff you can use in the future. Google Plus. Um, this is kind of vital for us doing stuff on Google like connecting your Gmail, your YouTube, your Google Drive, your Hangouts. Um, your, I think they use Blogger. I don't know. It connects all your stuff um, in Google. So Google Plus isn't really for like sharing or connecting because it's just not used that way, but it's good for communicating in the Google realm, which as we know is getting bigger and bigger and growing and growing. Um, Instagram is good for posting pictures. You really only want to use that on like, uh, like if you're promoting your group or people in your company or organization or if you're promoting yourself and things you like and just showing clips of your life. Um, Snapchat's good for um, transmitting information to groups and like a story. A lot of businesses are using that. Um, a lot of people use it too to transmit their story out there and promote what they've got and just kind of show glimpses of their life without the edits or the fancy Valencias. So those are the main social medias. Hope that helped give you an overview. Um, subscribe. Peace! I should have done that in a different order. Subscribe. Peace! There we go. Second time's a charm. Thank you for coming to Tarver Academy.
please subscribe maybe 